Hi, this is Paul D'Antonio from the Do-It-Yourself Resource, and today we have an exciting new project to show you. This is the Mini Crossbow. Part 1, Cutting Your Materials. Section 1A is titled Measure, Clamp, and Cut Woodstock. Measure out your 12 inches on the wood and make a mark with a permanent marker. This will indicate where to cut. Clamp the wood down firmly to your table and make a cut with a coping saw. Section 1B, Measure, Clamp, and Cut PVC. Measure out 17.5 inches on your PVC and make a mark with a permanent marker. Clamp the PVC down firmly and make the cut with a coping saw. Part 2. Cut your PVC in half. Now this is lengthwise, so your next step is 2A and mark your center on both sides of the PVC. Lay, lay, lay the PVC down on the table and mark a straight line down the PVC with a permanent marker. Mark the opposite side of the PVC and create an identical line. 2B. Cut your PVC in half. Clamp your PVC firmly on the table such that the line is pointing upwards facing you. Use a Dremel tool with a reinforced bit and cut the PVC in half. In the video, you will see the technique used. Make sure that you do not drag the Dremel tool along the PVC and make sure that you're going at a 90 degree angle. Part 3. Shape your stock. Step 3A is to mark your position on the stock. This notch position is the position that you will fire the crossbow from. So you're going to mark 6.5 inches from the edge that you'd like to shoot from. After you've marked your crossbow notch, move on to step 3B where you're going to carve your, your stock to make room for the notch. Uh, use a chisel or a sharp knife and remove the wood past the mark you made. Take the wood down approximately a quarter inches from the top of the wood. In 3C, you're going to finish up with the Dremel tool. Use your Dremel tool and attach a sanding bit and finish the notch, making it as close to 90 degrees as possible. Part 4. Create your bow. Section 4A, mark PVC and drill bit holes. You're going to mark your PVC five times. One inch off the ends the center, which is eight and three quarter inches, and halfway between the center and the ends. Drill each mark through both pieces of PVC with your three sixteenth inch drill bit. Section 4B is to secure the bow with bolts and nuts. Basically insert the bolts and fasten the nuts for each drill, each hole drilled in the last step. Probably the most difficult step in the entire tutorial is to attach your bowstring, step number five, part number five. Uh, part section 5A is to tie one end of your bowstring. So you're going to create a lasso loop using the weed whacker cord and you're going to insert that loop into the PVC bow. And you can see exactly what that means in the video. Section 5B is to mark your string length and, your, and, and also tie a knot at the end of it. So you're going to tighten the weed whacker cord to the under, uh, other end of the PVC. And you're going to mark 14 and a half inches from the spot tied with the lasso. After you've marked it, you're going to tie a knot at that point. Make sure that the knot is about at that, that place or else the bow will not be tight when it is, when it is strong. Section 5C. Cut your groove on your bow. So you're going to need a place for the knot to rest on the bow. So opposite the end of the lasso, remove the nut from the bolt and use a coping saw to create a half inch deep notch and 
see what that is in the video if you are confused about what that means. The last section 5D of part number 5 is to bend the bow and finish attachment. So you're going to bend the bow and insert the string with the knot into the bow groove that you just made. The technique I used was to sit on the floor and bend the bow over my leg. However, if this does not work for you, you're going to need some way to bend the bow. And I would recommend maybe clamping it and either getting somebody else to help you or using some sort of, you know, force mechanism to do that. Part six, we're going to create our bolt groove. It's going to be a place where the bolt can sit and not slide out. So se section 6A, you're going to mark a groove. You're going to use a straight edge and you're going to mark the groove on the flat part of the, on the, of the stock with a permanent marker. And this should be about in the center of the wood. And you're going to mark the middle all, and you're going to take it all the way down to the end. Section 6, 6B, you're going to get an initial dent along this groove. Use a flathead screwdriver and dent the line. You can either drag the screwdriver or use it like a chisel and just hit it uh, along the line. Section 6C, you're going to finish up this groove with a Dremel tool. This bit that you're going to use, uh, this 90 degree sander, is going to smooth up the groove and probably straighten it out a little bit. It's, it's difficult to do it right with the screwdriver, so um, keep the groove at maybe one inch, one eighth inch deep at a maximum so you, you don't have the string right over your bolts as you, as you go. Your final step is step seven and this is where you clamp and glue the bow. So basically set, section 7a has you using your bow as a clamp. You're going to place the PVC bow on the edge of the stock and draw the string to hold in the notch and you're going to rest it there. The bow should be holding itself against the stock in tension. If your, bull, if, if your bow is not getting caught on the notch, then what you need to do is use another bit on your Dremel tool and make sure that that notch is as close to 90 degrees or past or even steeper than 90 degrees. Uh, you want the notch to hold. And so after the bow is held tight, move on to section 7B and you're going to glue your bow. Now, this may seem a little bit like a weak um, hold for you, but this, uh, this will actually do fine for the bow. This is, this is uh, enough force to keep the bow there as long as it doesn't get jostled around and thrown around, it should be fine. So use a hot glue gun and apply the glue to the entire, uh, all the way around the bow. Apply it generously. Make sure that you don't get too much glue on the top or else the, bow, the, the bolt will get stuck into the glue. Um, but after you've applied your glue, allow it to dry for five minutes. And once this is done, your bow is complete. You have an ability to fire bolts now. I would recommend using, it can fire pens, it can fire, you know, probably a legitimate crossbow bolt. Make sure that the bolt is about a half inch in diameter or else you may miss the bolt with the string. Uh, all right, well, here's the crossbow finished up in, a, in an image, and I appreciate your viewing today. I hope that you follow the projects. Uh, please like us and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial, and visit our website, www.thediyresource.com, to get more projects, have a step-by-step -step list that you can look at, and also a parts list for this project. We appreciate you again, and thank you very much. Bye.